Hello everybody, uh, this will be a short tour, well not so short because I do want to show the entire place, of my pretty close to complete Red Rocket, the way I like it. It's my personal home base uh, in the north. Eventually I will need personal home bases, like probably another one in the, in the south. And of course the big one in Spectacle Island, eventually we're not there yet. Uh, so far, I have uh, talked to uh, to all the factions except the Institute. I still need to, to go see Virgil and do the, the, the transporter, teleport thing. Uh, that's not done yet. Uh, I don't want to go too far into the stories. Uh, I did get to do the take the castle for the Minutemen. So that could be an idea of what to work on because... I want my castle in this one. I've never really done a really good castle. This time is going to be it. Uh, and so far, this is my best uh, own red rocket ever. So let's walk down the street. This is the normal car that's always there. So, so you can see this is covered. This area is covered by uh, turrets. As sometimes some idiots can arrive from here. So you got turrets and that missile launcher on, the, on top of the bus uh, to cover that side it's a bit choppy of course uh, it's not like it's not like super big walls or anything but uh, I'm just gonna go like across the street of course these are the dumb raiders that decided to attack us Let's uh, loot these guys. All right, so here we are. A bit of a fence, a bit of a guard post here. And uh, let's go in, shall we? So I wanted to build a place as if, uh, you know, it, it, it's believable that tools were used to all things around and clean things up. So uh, that's why the crane, the the street cleaner and hello bot who's that that's oh it's the guy it's the guy i need to send to to uh, county crossing uh i need to go here there you go uh i move you to where is it oberland I don't have County Crossing here? Uh, why don't I have County Crossing? I did the mission, he told me they were okay with the Minutemen, blah blah blah. Uh, I don't get it. Well, I'm going to send him Taffington Boathouse, which is another place I'm going to build up. So, go Taffington, set as Taffington Boathouse as a new home. Yes, enter. Go to Taffington Boathouse, and let's get out of build mode. I don't know if he's going to understand it. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. That's all right. So, uh, let's come back to where what I was saying. Uh, so, yes, uh, uh, crates, cranes, uh, forklifts. Uh, I decided to put this old truck as decoration, so I just thought it looked good there. This wasn't there in the original build, and creates a, a block. So, and so same thing with this crate uh, in my Ed Cannon. This thing was full of the stuff I needed, and now it's discarded. So I just put it there on the hill. It's propped with a bit of concrete, and yeah, we're good with that. And, uh, yeah, so let's uh, tour the defenses. I, I left this one uh, light pole there. It's a pretty good light for there. On the other side, I put uh, the normal uh, street, uh, street lights. So, here, platform. That's, uh, this is what I do with raiders. So, it tells raiders, uh, do not mess with moi. Uh... 
eventually if i decide to send people over this will be their uh, temporary barracks uh shout out to ranger dave uh who has inspired me a lot to build these things and build this way and uh, a lot of the mods i found out watching your stuff ranger dave literally hats off to you and uh i hope i'm gonna be like a quarter as good as you are <laughs> All right, let's go inside. Uh, so far, I have not decorated the insides, but I do have extra beds in here from the G2M mod. So eventually what I'd like to do is put in uh, uh, probably some furniture here with uh, uh, do it your shelf with ammo, guns, all that stuff. Uh, maybe put a, a chair here and a, like a reading nook. Uh, but that's details uh, apart from that of course this is the the way to my custom guard post so this is one of the in the Omaker barriers it's one of the is it, is it uh, well okay I'll come back okay yeah there's no drawings so we're cool let's go back <laughs> Sorry about that. And underneath, uh, like somewhere just below the... Like if I go in build mode, I think I see it. Go in build mode. Takes forever. Yeah, so I've got uh, uh, set, uh, settler marker markers. So this is obviously a guard post. So people can come and come here and guard. Like, even if they're, like, off-duty, sometimes one of my robots comes up here and guards for a couple minutes, then goes do something else. Uh, excuse me, Piper. I must, you know, excuse me, Piper. Come on. Thank you. Thankfully, Piper is not Lydia. She's a bit better. So, out here, uh, just put in, like, cages this is left from uh, the original uh, red rocket actually yeah, 10 millimeter ammo that we spawned let's take it uh decided to put in some ac because you know sometimes uh the commonwealth can, can get hot uh this these are uh, uh stations from northland diggers just to give if there's people here give them something to do like sometimes i go into build mode uh uh, Piper is going to come here and hammer stuff out. And we have another guard post here. Taken by... Who's that? That's Ada! Yeah, I Ada has received a facelift. Let's look at Ada a little bit. Yeah, she's uh, she got a sniper laser and an automatic laser. She still has the same voice. And uh, I replaced her head with a, with a robo-brain because... Uh, better range for energy weapons and the mesmatron and uh yeah things are pretty good uh food that for now is basically not required i don't have any human settlers i do have this guy who's the farm bot so i built him as sort of a farm bot uh so only with melee weapons i want to make him believable that he's farming so he's hammering and sawing and clawing and yeah <laughs> all right this the south corner is uh protected by these things very rarely do you get spawns from there but it can happen as you saw at the beginning the main spawn happens uh well if you were there at the beginning of the stream you didn't know mikhail did you see the tails i sent three head uh no i did not I did not. I didn't. Uh, I didn't go on uh, Discord today. This morning was a very chill day, and uh, I'm showing off my uh, Fallout, my Fallout settlements, and I'm gonna build some more. So where was I? I was. Uh, yeah, I'm about to show my water closet. So this is a mod, the mo the modular ohms and stuff. There's been streams on it today. I know uh, Captain Canada is streaming it on uh, on YouTube. I saw that uh, just before I uh, started my stream. Uh, yeah, the water closet. 
uh, so I decided this is where my water comes from. So this is where I'm going to put my everything water related. So first things first, you go in here, something goes bad. You go, you, well, first you can have a drink of water. Something goes bad. You got your safety shower. So you can uh, go here in a panic, pull the handle, wash your eyes, wash your entire body. Uh, yet the floor would, will get wet. And I put uh, the shop, uh, shop, um, uh, blank. As far as I've seen, none of them have, have had any bugs. Oh, that's cool, man. London controller streamed it. Uh, yeah, if anybody into Fallout is not knowing what we're talking about, we're talking about the Inibuilds Beluga. So, cool. Turns out you decide which tail you want in. They put the tails in deliveries. Oh, man, that's pretty damn killer. Inibuilds Beluga. Search it. Go see it. <laughs> All right, uh, to come back to what I was doing, because uh, this is this was going to be a, a highlight for YouTube for my settlement uh, series. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, the washing machine place and where you want some cleaning stuff and uh, eventually you can grab uh, stuff, you know, stuff. Uh, this is all by do-it-yourself. Uh, I didn't even know there was a... A follow uh, uh, a vault boy uh, thing. Cool. All right. So wash and dryer, or dryer washer. Yeah, washer dryer that could be used as storage for some reason. Uh, extra clothing, extra sheets, extra, 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 extra stuff. Uh, this is another clothing container, and. Uh, and yeah, then various cleaning products. Uh, you notice you must wash your hands. Uh, to wash your hands, this is the place to do it. This is my immersive bathroom. So you got the sink. Sink! I was looking for that word. <laughs> With the, the not too bad shower. It's not the best shower. Uh, stainless steel is a must in here. Easier to wash and buff and stuff, and uh, put it some uh, piping. To, in my head cannon, all the water is being rerouted everywhere from outside to here, and this is all do-it-yourself stuff. And uh, yeah, this is my bathroom. All right, let's walk back out. Try not to go too fast. Uh, should dog meat be with me, you could have a place to crash. Uh, like I said earlier, this is my, uh, the, the water stuff. I decided to put a big radio antenna here just because, you know, it's me. And, uh, it, it has a purpose. We'll see the downstairs. Uh, this is obviously my, uh, automatron, uh, a building set so this is where I build my robots uh, I'm, I'm gonna have, have them at a few of the of the settlements just because uh, you know sometimes you want a robot on the spot so uh, put in that basketball hoop just for the hell of it look looks about the right height I didn't measure this it looks oh, about okay Uh, this is another guard tower, and from Jezebel, uh, from from Jezebel, from this place, Jezebel has a very nice and commanding view over Concord and the Pridwin and downtown Boston and that hill. This hill is where everything happens, apparently. So. Uh, this is not my beacon. This is my. Uh, this is to find provisioners. I don't have provisioners yet. This will come in the semi near future. This is a radar. So if you saw the uh, the early stream before I started doing the tour, 
uh, there was an attack from a bunch of raiders and everybody had a red pip on his head it's because they came into the they, they came into the the sphere of influence of this so everybody everybody's got the, like the radar works still all, almost across to over near the water there so I people spawn I know uh, obviously another platform here with uh, the heavy heavy laser turrets and missiles and if you saw earlier yeah the people uh, yeah people don't survive a lot okay uh, now Mary's garage yes my character is named Mary after uh, you know my uh, significant other uh, this is the my Ed Cannon platform where to. Didn't you go to to, to Taffington Boathouse? You. Oh man, I'm gonna have to take him there, and leave him there. Uh, yeah. So in my Ed Cannon, this is the platform that uh, stuff gets uh, put on top because I decided to build uh, part of my garage up here. So this is my uh, my. Uh, power armor uh, research station so built with a uh, couple of the amenities necessary uh, more cabinets and armor workbench weapon workbench uh, and of course three of the slightly more compact uh, uh, power armor racks uh, let's go in so here we got the really compact power armor station uh, I decided to call this loot so yes I had to fight to rotate this ever so slightly to have it like not straight and then the the fun part is these are two separate like if I move the trunk the loot stays there so let's not move the trunk uh, well of course safety signs and stuff uh, creative clutter chemical station and a craftable greebles decoration this is not a prop in the game well it's in the game but it's not something you can build unless you have a mods which i have plenty of them so yeah i put my thing there and uh bit of a barbecue station and uh careful watch your step it's a doozy all right let's go inside the red rocket well let's jump down so in here looks a lot like default except i moved a few things around uh i replaced the board with a board that actually has tools uh removed like the crap the tires if i'm just gonna turn off thank you uh yeah remove the most of the crap uh i moved the the jack over here so just add a bit more stuff this is the uh, our all-purpose compact so when you activate it this is everything you need I just do nothing. Uh, this is the ultra cheat station this allows you to build uh, uh, uh guns and armor with two legendaries so that's a lot of fun when you have to uh, when you want somebody overpowered like uh, Mary uh, you need that and it's just more stuff to build so I've got tools lying around and stuff uh, here I haven't really done anything with the uh, the passageway I removed the 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 what the fuck man I'm blanking out keep blanking out today so yeah that was like you know a place to put stuff on you know man shelves damn so yes I removed the yellow shelves that were here and all the crap that was on it removed the the food dispenser that's all crappy and stuff uh, put a, a box of a mr. Andy that looks uh, ready to use and a box of stuff uh, I removed a few of the tables here, but I did leave 
uh, the coffee table and the water the water tank uh, this felt like it's needed to stay there so I left it there uh, this may be able to be moved like if I shoot something uh, explosive that's gonna go all over the place but this won't so I built myself a little uh, kitchenette corner with uh, the, dr the deli drive-in type thing with uh Surkov Sur vodka makes a perfect cocktail and uh Boscom phone and television and television services as you'll see uh Mary is into uh telecom we'll see that shortly added a wine rack because I felt like it and this is the my usual kitchen spot and so I removed the cabinet that was up there. I decided to fit a, sto uh, a sink here, a radio, just in case, you know, in case uh, Preston needs me to save a settlement. Uh, again, more creative clutter stuff. Uh, obviously, I like beer, in case you didn't notice. And uh, yeah, this is all from Creative Clutter. So the working, the working kitchen stove can be used as a kitchen stove. And I've got my cookbook and uh, my pots and pans and stuff. I've got my fridge with the perfectly preserved pie. It's got ice cold Nuka Cola and ice cold uh, Nuka Cola Quantum. Purify water. Yes, it yeah it turns it, it turns your Nuka Cola into ice cold. So that's a plus. And of course, pantry and stuff. And obviously, Super Duper Mart, where, I, where Mary used to shop uh, back over 210 years ago. Uh, this is Mary's bedroom. Uh, this is the G2M military cot with uh, a comfy pillow, some sheets. Uh, should I need it, there's a surgical chair. I should change my face. Not that I really need it. Uh, this is my medical storage, so it looks like medical storage, so that's why it's, you know, surgical, medical, you know. Uh, on display is Kellogg's pistol. This dude is no more. And uh, the modified uh, irrad irradiated alien blaster pistols. Uh, this is the one looted from the actual alien. This is now one built from 2LM, so this is the the one from the alien. Uh, some of my stuff, uh, you know, uh, some of my armor, some of my guns, and I haven't really built like a true armory. This is probably gonna come in the near future. And this is the post-war game the working terminal. I removed the old terminal that was here and added this from Creative Clutter. And obviously the Fat Man Bar with uh, the the Sirkov vodka and the whiskey and the stuff and the thing and uh, yeah and first aid posters and stuff and now let us go downstairs because yes in my build i have a downstairs so this is from uh basement living it's the storage warehouse Warehouse. Warehouse. Right, so when we come in here, first things first, an all important 2LM. This is eventually, I'm probably going to sit somebody here who's going to be a radio listener. And, uh, Mr. Handy, a feather duster, and say what, a hundred years, and this place would be right as rain. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. I built it myself, Piper. All right, uh, this is the storage warehouse from uh, Basement Living. So, so I could definitely like pass my days here. Should something bad happen up there, if the, uh, the place gets nuked all over again, I can. Go here and live. Got all the amenities. This is another all-purpose uh, plus, and then some. 
this is the armor smith because it looks amazingly cool. Same with the weapon smith. And uh, power armor. With the, this is an actual power armor. This is not deco. Uh, I haven't put anything on it yet, but uh, we'll come to this later. <laughs> All right. So here we have the info room. So obviously, uh, weirdly enough, uh, Preston is wearing the general's outfit, and the general's outfit is now Preston's thing so weird because i do have uh, the mod called we are the minutemen which sort of does things to the minutemen makes them less stupid and less uh, grindy uh so yes this is my information office eventually i can probably have people sitting here and uh you know so i have to take them with me and sit them down uh so yeah so please stand by with my map of the of the commonwealth and uh, in my head cannon i'm gonna steal the uh, i'm gonna steal the 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 feed from the institute and have it rerouted here and uh yeah uh this is not quite finished yet. I put a fridge here. This is the another medical station with a gurney and the, so not quite fixed yet. And oh, this opens the wrong way. We shall fix this. We shall fix this. We shall go here. I put the door, but I never tested it. All right, let's take that. Flip it around. Thank you very much. Now it opens the correct way. Thank you. All right, so this is a nook that's in the storage that I don't know what I'm going to do with. I may do something slightly grisly. So just close the door. Because this is also where Mary conducts uh, interrogation of various uh, nefarious people. So. Yeah, when the when the floor is wet, it's not it, it's not paint, it's blood. So that's why, you know, you you sit the guy there, put the handcuffs on, drug him up, and then you can torture him. I'm nice like that. So there you go, and this is the background. Thank you, Piper, for taking care of my armor link and this is a this is basically my red rocket I, I may add a few things here and there but uh, I'm not gonna change much and I'm, I'm probably gonna add just a little like details here and there probably something here also this is the actual workshop for the the basement and uh, yeah so let's get out of here And I'm going to kind of do, in, in Ranger Day fashion, uh, I want to finish with a, a bit of a, an invasion. I'm going to go with an easy invasion because I know my, my defenses are not perfect. I don't want to wreck everything. Come on, Fallout. You can do it. And here we are. And yes, this is my hot rod Tesla vented lead plating. This is what, when I need to go see Virgil, this is what I'll be wearing. And Piper will be wearing one of the ones upstairs, probably the one from the, from the Brother of the Steel. It's all built up and everything. Uh, so yeah, I need to go to the center of my settlement, which is basically where I'm standing right now. And let's do, I need the commands. 
We shall do a settlement raid because I have this mod. Ah, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. We have customers. Ha <laughs> ha. So our customers did not last long. All right, so. Look at those doors when they open. You all right there, Piper? All right, let's do let's do this again. There's gonna be a bit more. Uh, I need settlement rating mod. I need the commands. I need the commands. All right, so it's gonna be bat. R R. Or actually, let's put him in. So R R. Uh, I'll do. Uh, there's not brotherhood, but there's mutants. Let's do mutants. Mutants easy. And hmm? I don't have it. I thought I had it installed. We shall fix at some point. So let's go. Uh, I'm going to do something else instead. I'm gonna go here. Uh, say about here. Uh, I need to find out the command help. Uh, super mutant four. This will tell me what is the command. Uh, NPC super mutant skirmisher. All right, say ten skirmishers. So. Uh, place at me uh, zero zero one zero Charlie one uh, four one three and I want ten of them and let's get ready to rumble That was worth it. Okay, so I may not have settlement rating mod. Uh, this will be fixed. I, I was sure I had it in my mod list. Uh, it's a must. I must have it. Uh, what's the point of building uh, of building settlements if I can't have raids? This is the most fun I have in the game. So, <laughs> and there you go. Uh, my uh, the red rocket build by Mary who looks like this. And, uh, yeah, there'll be more like this. We're going to start building some more. So for the YouTube peoples, see ya.